Hey guys, it's Jeremy here. I have another tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how to quickly fix a problem, especially if you're working with isometric design or, you know, you're playing around with different, you know, perspectives and stuff like that. You're going to get this issue and I just want to show you quickly how to fix that. So you can see here I have isometric cube and if I select any one of these squares, you can see how the bounding box and what the bounding box is, it's the square around the actual object on the selection so you can see the bounding box how it's ch changed and shifted so if I make a new square and you can see this square has the normal bounding box around the actual object so I can rotate it I can hold shift and keep the proportions and keep the 45 degree angle but you can see with this the bounding box is actually moved out of the frame of the actual object because we shifted the object to an isometric view or a different view so, you know, I can still scale it up and it will work on that, you know, isometric pane. But, um, you know, if I want to shift it, like rotate it, it's going to obviously rotate in a weird way. And it's not going to rotate like straight like this, how this one moves, as you can see there. So in order to fix this, um, what we can actually do. So if I just, you know, grab this, I can go to the top left hand corner and you want to go to object. You want to go to transform. And down the bottom, you can see it says reset bounding box. Like that. You want to click that. And now you can see it's actually shifted the bounding box to be on a flat degree there. So now I can actually just move this object how I want to. So, so it's acting like a flat shape, as you can see. Obviously, it's still in like an isometric view, but it's allowing me to rotate it the way I want it now. And obviously I can go and edit these points and move these points and do all that cool stuff and I can rotate it and stuff. So yeah, just want to show you that quick tip, um, you know, in case you run into this problem. That's how you reset the bounding box and you can do it with any shape. And there it fixes that as you can see there. Which is cool. So yeah, that's how you reset the bounding box. And also if you go to view as well, you can see here it says hide bounding box. So that's a cool shortcut too. Um, so if I... If I go view and I click um, hide bounding box, it's going to get rid of the bounding box, as you can see there. So if it doesn't pop up for you, that's the reason why. So you just go back and you go show bounding box, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. If you run into this problem, that's how you fix it. Let me know in the comments below if this was helpful. And if you want me to share like, other things that you know can help you if you run into issues. And don't forget to like this video. It really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe for more design content every week.